One of the worst things may have just possibly happened. World leaders are now questioning China and saying that China is at war with the rest of the world. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you why many world leaders are pointing at China and saying that China is responsible for all these different attacks and they are causing uh, these some nations to struggle. For instance, Europe is likely to see prices rise. The United States likely to see prices rise. And some are saying that China is behind all of this. So today's video, I'm gonna explain exactly what is going on. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So China is behind these different attacks. Why would somebody say China is behind these attacks? Because these attacks, it's Russia against Ukraine and it's Hamas against Israel. That, that doesn't mean it's China, right? Well, actually that's wrong because Russia has received some help from China. As far as Hamas against Israel, guess what? Who is funding Hamas? It's Iran. Well, who is giving Iran all these different funds? Who is buying what Iran is selling? Well, it's China. I'll explain that more in just a moment. But here's a big concern that's happening right now. The Houthis continue to launch more attacks in the Red Sea as US warships are heading to the region. US warships are now in the region and they are shooting down these missiles, these drones, which some say are about $2,000 a piece. And we are shooting them down with $2 million missiles. Look at this, this is from Politico just today. It says, a $2 million missile versus a $2,000 drone. Pentagon worried over cost of Houthi attacks. Yeah, I would say so. If we are spending $2 million to shoot down a $2,000 drone, that is very concerning. But guess what? China wouldn't care. China does not care because now we are weakening the United States. Also, we are using some of our stockpile to shoot down a $2,000 drone. Yeah. And again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break this down in just a moment. But one thing that you need to understand is where these attacks are coming from and why this is such a big deal. Right now, here's Yemen. Okay. Now, these the Suez Canal is up here. And now we have the Red Sea is right here. Okay. So here's the Red Sea. The reason why this is such an important thing is because all the all the traffic that's coming down through the Suez Canal, okay? So we have the Suez Canal over here. And so all the traffic that's coming down this port, okay? All the way through here, down into the Red Sea, all the way over here to the Gulf of Suez, and all the way down here to the Gulf of Aden. Now, the reason why this is such a big deal is because of the how close Djibouti and Yemen are to each other. This space right here, this is about 17 to 18 miles apart. So all the different ships that are coming through this strait are getting hit. That's a huge concern. That is one concern. The other concern is actually over here with Iran and United Arab Emirates. This one right here, the Gulf of Amman, this right here would be a huge hit. So even though right now it is just Yemen that is making these, uh, doing these strikes, the problem and what many people are concerned with is what if it's this right here next to Iran, if this gets hit and this is where we're starting to see the, the attacks, that's going to put a major damper on the world's economy. Now, here's one thing I can tell you, and then we're going to read a little bit about the, the cost of these missiles that are hitting these $2,000 drones. But one thing I can tell you at this time is that it, it, this, this is taking place very uh, systematically. First, Hamas attacked Israel. Then Hezbollah is currently attacking uh, the Lebanese. And now we're seeing Houthis continue to attack ships in the Red Sea. And they're showing their displeasure with the, this war in Israel. And they are trying to say that the United States and Europe should be doing more to prevent this and to demand Israel accept a ceasefire. Okay, all three of these groups, Okay, we got, the, we got Hamas, we have Hezbollah, and we have the Houthis. All three of these groups are funded by Iran. But here's what you need to understand. 
Iran doesn't just print money. No. Iran is selling a product. They are selling oil. So because of uh, China buying up all this, uh, all this oil, they are the ones that are financing all these tax. That's the concern. But what you need to keep in mind is that China is going to continue to purchase this oil. And this oil has been sanctioned already. Okay, this oil has been sanctioned. They continue to buy sanctioned uh, oil, Iranian oil, which is what the United States does not want. Okay, Now, China is making it possible for uh, Tehran to support all these different terrorist proxies. Okay, Hezbollah, Hamas, and the Houthis. China is the one that's able, allowing them to actually operate and fund them. Okay, Now, just to give you an idea... China is currently in the, for nine, I think like nine to 10 months of 2023, China purchased 60% more oil than they did in 2017. The reason why 2017 is because that was the last year before uh, former President Donald Trump reimposed sanctions on this commodity from Iran. Yeah, think about that. Now, here's what you need to keep in mind though. The United States continues to play these games with Iran and other countries. And you probably wonder, well, what game, right? What's the United States doing? Well, what they're doing is we're continuing to shoot down a $2,000 drone with a $2 million missile. It doesn't make any sense. Let's go ahead and read this article. This right here is from Politico. It says the cost of using expensive naval missiles, which can run up to $2.1 million a shot to destroy unsophisticated Houthi drones, estimated at a few thousand dollars each, is a growing concern, according to three other Department of Defense officials. It says the cost offset is not on our side. Experts say this is an issue that needs to be addressed and urge Department of Defense to start looking at lower cost options for air defense. That quickly becomes a problem because the most benefit, uh, even if we do shoot down their incoming missiles and drones, is in their favor. We, the U.S., you need to start looking at systems that can defeat these that are more in line with the costs they are expending to attack us. All goes on to say, Department of Defense officials would not confirm what types of weapons are being used, but a former DOD official and expert said only one weapon would make sense for this job based on how far away the range is, right? It says for this job, the standard missile two, a medium range air defense missile, a weapon that can reach up to 92 or 130 nautical miles based on the variant. The latest variant, the Block 4, cost $2.1 million a shot. Okay? Now, in this article, it goes on to say what other missiles that, or what other uh, weapons they could use to shoot this down. The problem is they're still costing about $1.8, possibly $1.4 million to shoot down a $2,000 drone. Now, why is this important? This is important because we are now spending money that we technically don't have in order to fund and, and put these missiles onto these ships. And so the Houthis are sending up a $2,000 drone. We're shooting it down with the $2 million missile. It's a huge loss. So just, just so you get an idea, we have spent millions and millions of dollars. We've shot down, I think, 30-some drones. Yeah, we've shot down over 38 drones. Uh, in the past uh, two months. So do the math, 38 drones at a cost of $2 million a piece, right? What's that, $76 million that we have spent to shoot down something that's costing about 76,000. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but you can see why Yemen continues to do this it's because it's costing the American taxpayers even more money, which is gonna weaken our economy and it's gonna cause well, just more disruptions. Now, just to show, you, just to give you a, another idea of what we are about to see, is we are about to see gas prices go up. According to reports out this morning, they are saying that the expectation for a barrel of oil is going to be about three dollars as an increase. Three dollars per barrel of an increase. Okay, that means expect gas prices to go up. Expect energy costs to go up. Expect food and anything that gets transported to go up. Yeah, expect the new year. There's a good chance we see additional inflation. So 
right now the United States continues to play this game of okay let's let's not do too much but at the same time let's not do too little let's try to find that sweet spot because if we do well then the Biden administration and Democrats could potentially stay in charge in the next upcoming election which is less than one year away so right now all I can tell you is China is potentially at war with the entire world but some countries just don't know it yet so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think prices are about to go up? Do you think the United States and President Biden have everything under control? Or are you kind of skeptical as to what is going to go on in the future? Let me know down in the comment section below. That is what we got for you guys today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.